Praise God. Today, we're going to turn this room into our first ever production studio. A room entirely dedicated for making videos. Stick around to the end because I will share with you how much it cost me to set it up. You always be my summer rain. You wash away. I've been looking forward to this day since the moment I started making videos back in 2016. The main part of the room is the table. Then we have the cameras. We have a lamp. We also bought some plants to bring in some fresh air. Most of the equipments that I use have been with me for a while. But recently, we invested in some new items for the studio. And they came in the mail. So let's open it together. As you can see, I'm very excited. I always wanted a permanent setup that requires me to just come in, open the light, camera, and action. This is not part of the equipment, but a beautiful book I ordered from Amazon. The little Office of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The prayers are very old, but kind of stops our minds from the daily tasks, kind of directs it to worship God throughout the day. A very worthwhile investment if you're serious about communicating with God regularly. Okay, so first up, we have a newer lights. Literally newer lights. Highly recommended by Think Media, which is a YouTube marketing channel. I guess I wasn't particularly looking for anything special. Just a softbox for lighting professionally without shadows. These lights also come with panels that can be used to control the lighting, which is very, very useful. And these are detachable as well. I also got a softbox that came separately. Trying to put this on was a bit challenging, but I finally figured it out. And I like the look. I love the lights also because this is the first time I'm able to control the light temperature and the intensity, which I know kind of sounds basic. I'm just getting used to the new things. Now we move on to the mic, which pretty much is the most exciting part of this unboxing. It is a Samsung Q9U, a budget podcast mic from DJ Store in Australia. It's a fairly new mic, and the best thing about it is the sound quality, which when I heard it online, it sounded pretty good. Throughout my time as a content creator, I've had some serious problems with capturing professional sound. It's basically because of lack of research and lack of money. But I've done my research on various occasions and for the longest time, I thought boom mics are the way to go. Then I went on to ordering this cheap looking mic from Amazon, which had an XLR output. And I don't know what I was expecting, a USB output maybe, but that mic never got used. Either way, I had my fair share of mics, the Samsung Media USB mic, a Rodeo Pro mic for my Sony A6500, the iPhone mic, which believe it or not, was the most convenient, and now finally, a podcast mic. I have to say, this thing looked phenomenal. We got a desktop stand, purely because my wife loves a clean setup. But the final look was just perfect. I know we have to connect wires for it to start working, but I wish there was no need of wires because it just looks good by itself. The room was echoing a lot, so I knew I had to get a carpet. So the next day we went and got a carpet. It sounded a little bit better, but I definitely need to do further soundproofing for this room. Hopefully that can be a future video. I need to do my research on that. Can't believe it's done. Come in. <laughs> that looks so nice. How is it? How do we look? I thought it was all done and that it was all good, but we've got some practical issues on the set. Now by that I mean we've got the door right there and this just in the way. So there is a high chance of someone just coming in and boom, it's quite close. To also make things a bit more clearer for you guys, literally on a, a stand. Praise be to God that everything is set. Yesterday, I encountered some issues with the with the mics. I want two mics to simultaneously connect and be recording at the same time. You can't be using a slot like this. It kind of reads the same thing, like two Samson Q9U mics and both of them just read. The second mic doesn't seem to connect, so then I found a way around that by using a different USB-C cable for one mic and the USB cable for, no, for another mic. I don't know if that makes sense, but either way, it's working. To GarageBand, I can record it. We might have to change this table because, again, 
one of the practical issues. The person sitting on this side, the feet is a bit of an issue, is a bit of a problem. Get a smaller table, which might also increase the space in this room. One of the main things that I'm trying to do is a permanent set so that I can just come in, I can just turn on the lights, turn on the camera, turn on the audio and I'm ready to go. As promised, let's look at the prices. We have the Sony A6500 for $1,250, Sony ZV-E10 for $1,000, and another Sony ZV-E10 for $1,100. I got it both from Facebook Marketplace. Obviously, I'm not gonna go into detail with the accessories for the camera, but let's keep the amount for it at $100. We have two newer lights that cost us $290 in total and two tube lights that cost us $140 in total. The two broadcast mics and stand cost us $570 in total. I also had a whiteboard wall put in this room to help with the planning side of things that cost us around $220. The rug cost us $125 and $150 in total for the plants and lambs as it is you know, part of the aesthetics. So the total comes down to $4,945. My goodness. Cause you always be my summer rain. You are sure.